The latest story in our Gatehouse Media Florida series on rising sea levels and their impacts in Florida focuses on flooding. Emergency management officials in Florida like to tell a joke when you ask them about your flood risk in Florida. How do you know if you need flood insurance? If you have a Florida driver's license. Larry LeHue, senior planner for Volusia County, says there's no such thing in Florida as a home that doesn't flood. There's high risk. There's low risk. But no such thing as no risk. Nothing illustrated that point or raised questions about rising sea levels around the state than the devastating hurricanes, tropical storms, and intense rainfall in 2016 and 2017. People all over the state began seriously questioning just how much worse it could be. In Florida, 67 counties, 49 are considered at high risk of flooding. Since 1978, the National Flood Insurance Program has paid out $4.1 billion in Florida and more than 255,000 flood claims. During Hurricane Cane Irma, Jacksonville experienced record flooding. On the Gulf Coast, they've seen reduced water flow in the Withlacoochee River, and they wonder what the impacts of sea level rise could be. In the Tampa Bay area, there's a great risk for landfalling hurricanes and questions about what the rising sea levels will mean to Tampa Bay and to the residents who live around Tampa Bay. Some governments have begun to look at options in New Smyrna Beach and Santa Rosa County and other governments across Florida. They're looking to take advantage of FEMA grants, hoping that they can get federal money to help lift homes out of harm's way. 